Since Russia's invasion began in 2014, Ukraine's military has transformed from an underfunded and ill-equipped service into a modern, powerful fighting force. With over 200,000 military personnel and millions of dollars in investment, Ukraine now is one of Europe's largest armies. While Russian hybrid forces continue sporadic attacks in the country's east, more Ukrainian troops are being trained in NATO standards to protect Ukraine's sovereignty for years to come. Ground reconnaissance, identification of all ground and water vehicles, setting up communication jammers. This is an effective means of combating high-precision weaponry and unmanned aerial vehicles. Find out about unique Ukrainian anti-air systems in today's episode of our program. The issue of improving the air security of the border territories became the main task as soon as the active hostilities in the Donbass region had started. The army required more up-to-date reconnaissance systems, effective means to combat enemy unmanned aerial vehicles, and of course, high-precision weaponry. That's because the enemy often conducts surveillance from the air watching the movements of Ukrainian troops using UAVs, unmanned aerial vehicles. They also use them successfully to adjust fire, to attack from the air, or perform kamikaze drones. For one private enterprise, which is a part of the League of Ukrainian Defense Enterprises, developments in the processing of radar signals have allowed for the creation of new prototypes of special equipment. The radio jamming complex enclave is capable of effectively countering aerial reconnaissance and high precision weaponry. It is an advanced Ukrainian development, which has already entered service in the Ukrainian armed forces. The complex consists of two systems. The first is used to set up interference for drone telemetry and communications. And the second one is a system of suppressing GPS and GLONASS navigation communications. All this together forms the enclave complex. Mobile radio jammer enclave consists of omnidirectional antenna and the main unit. The stationary version has directional antenna and a control panel. The personalized portable enclave model is equipped with an independent power supply source, which allows for two hours of non-stop operation of the complex. Generally, the jammer is capable of suppressing communications up to 20 kilometers away when using directional antenna. So, complex uh, this makes the system mobile and allows operation in hard-to-reach spots. The system can be installed in any type of transport and can be used in motion. For instance, elements of the system can be installed on an APC chassis. Those are the main unit, a telescopic pillar and remote directional antenna. These elements disrupt communications in a 40-kilometer radius. Данный комплекс предназначен для борьбы с беспилотными летательными аппаратами. Это не значит, что комплекс может поразить или сбить беспилотный летательный аппарат. The system's purpose is to counter unmanned aerial vehicles. This, however, does not mean it can bring a drone down. The main task of the complex is to disrupt the operation of the unmanned aerial vehicles and thus prevent them from completing their tasks. When a drone enters the area where navigation communications are jammed, it loses stability and cannot determine its position. Therefore, the completion of the unmanned aerial vehicles task is rendered impossible. If the whole system is used, the unmanned aerial vehicle will lose control, navigation, and as a result, sanctioned landing of the vehicle will take place.
Such systems are already in service in the armed forces of Ukraine and have already proven themselves in combat conditions in the east of Ukraine. Military personnel who conduct maintenance for such equipment undergo mandatory special training at the manufacturer's enterprise. After completing the training, they are fully qualified and capable of conducting servicing and maintenance of this equipment on their own. The Mobile Ground Reconnaissance System JAB is another unique development of the League of Ukrainian Defense Enterprises. It is designed to detect and classify objects moving on the ground and in water, including humans. Besides, the JAB displays both the position and velocity of the object. The complex can also detect and locate communication systems. It is designed to protect facilities and sections of the Ukrainian state border that are of particular highly strategic importance. The main task is to detect moving targets in zero visibility conditions. When it's impossible to detect movement of persons via other means due to smoke, rain or fog, this system detects moving objects highly effectively. Elements of the JAB complex can be easily mounted on an APC, an operator seat, telescopic pillar, and a radar station with a pan and tilt support are installed in the vehicle. The system also includes a TV and infrared camera. There's also a commander's monitor on which the data obtained by the JAB is displayed. The complex is highly mobile and can be easily mounted on different chassis. It is highly important that there is an option of remotely operating the ground reconnaissance complex. This feature was implemented to improve survivability of personnel and the system itself. In such a case, a portative version is used as an operator screen. As we can see, the JAB complex has been installed on an armored vehicle and a telescopic pillar. The pillar extends up to 4.5 meters. Due to the fact the pillar can extend, the detection distance increases. The system itself is very hard to detect because the radioactive power of the antenna is only one watt. It uses a constant signal and due to this, radiation is low, so it's very hard to detect by reconnaissance reconnaissance means. The JAB Mobile Ground Reconnaissance System operates effectively under different weather conditions using the LIS-2M radar apparatus and an optoelectronic module. It is easy to detect a wide variety of objects. The target is immediately displayed on an electronic map. The system is capable of detecting 64 targets at the same time. Each target is assigned a separate number, which is put into a special table. There, its coordinates, azimuth, distance, and velocity are displayed. Using TV and infrared cameras, the targets are identified. It is easy to zoom in and see what kind of object was detected. It can be a person or an armored vehicle. Everything is on the map. JAB can detect a moving person 3.5 kilometers away and moving armored vehicles up to 7 kilometers away. The complex can operate in detection and escort modes. The radar station can commence search of ground targets and detect them on the site. At the same time, the two-channel TV camera and the infrared channel mark the detected target. Everything is displayed on the table. These complexes are successfully used by border guards for the protection of the state border of Ukraine, including the border with the Russian Federation. This complex has been developed entirely by Ukrainian specialists. Therefore, the Ukrainian army has a unique means of land, air and water reconnaissance. The software was developed by our experts too, so the equipment has many options. Возможности.
The Ukrainian radar station for air and water reconnaissance, Malashit, has become the subject of many discussions. The modern radar station is capable of detecting targets and their coordinates with ease, but the main advantage is that it can automatically transmit the information to the customer. The system includes a pillar antenna and two 13 kilowatt diesel power supply units. They enable the complex to operate autonomously for 24 hours. The control cabin is installed on the chassis of the trailer. The Malashite radar station is capable of detecting high speed and low flying air targets, can control surface of water areas, and detect marine targets in the range of radar horizon. The system is also an efficient way to combat stealth technologies. In addition, there is a feature allowing detection of targets with a low effective reflective area and unmanned aerial vehicles. The Malashit radar station can automatically connect and transmit information to all automated process control systems, which are currently in service or in the process of development, as well as to missile launch facilities. Значит, станция работает в автоматическом режиме, то есть она обнаруживает, обрабатывает цели. This station operates in an automatic mode, detects targets and transmits the information to its users automatically. It can track up to 256 targets simultaneously. It is excellent in detecting high-speed targets. Our Malashit station sees grad salvos very well. Она хорошо отображается, и, и станция Малахит ее обнаруживает. Это одна из самых... It is one of the modern radar stations, which are currently in service in our army. Нашей армии. The enterprise which designed this radar station has finished developing a system of automatic unfolding and folding of the antenna. This makes the Malashit system even more mobile. The entire complex is located inside a single vehicle. The time required to unfold the antenna does not exceed 15 minutes. Besides, durability of the radar station against jamming equipment has improved due to the implementation of automatic frequency disabling. This complex is equipped with modern means of communication and air conditioning systems. A rest area is set up for the personal working with the radar system. This is a really modern ground-based interference protected radar station, which monitors the situation in the air and water. After digital processing of the data, the system automatically transmits all the required information to its user. This is exactly the type of equipment the Ukrainian army needs. Another Ukrainian invention, the Badger handheld radar apparatus, is actively used in guarding the state border. It allows to easily detect the movement of humans in ground and water vehicles. It is also used for guarding military and administrative facilities under any weather conditions, even when direct visibility is unavailable. The radar device is installed either on a rotary support, a tripod, or it's stationary, enabling automatic detection of persons and different objects, including ground and water vehicles. Управление осуществляется с специального планшета. Оператор может выбирать сектор обзора. Сектор обзора может быть от 0 до 360 градусов. A special tablet is used for controls. The operator can select the field of view. It ranges from 0 to 360 degrees. Электронные карты. Detected targets are displayed on a digital map. The data is processed and sent to the user. Five to ten such radar stations can be set up and connected to a single control system. The data will be received at a single control panel. Information on the moving target is displayed on screen as amplitude of the signal. Then target identification takes place, whether it's human, a group of people, a vehicle, or an animal. All this is determined through an audio channel, using headphones under any weather conditions. Even when optical visibility is lacking, target detection and identification are completed automatically. Information about the target is displayed on the portative computer monitor, and the data is automatically entered into a special table. That is the number of the target, distance, as a Myth, velocity and its location on the map. Radar devices are often used to guard military and administrative facilities.
The Ukrainian armed manufacturers fully understand what equipment the Ukrainian army needs. Not only do they understand, but they are ready to produce it. It's only a matter of time until the state puts these new designs into service. The servicemen featured in this program all have one common trait, to protect Ukraine's sovereignty and territorial integrity. It is these people who take up arms and risk their lives to defend Europe's eastern border from any major attacks in the future.